All right, Chris DeClerc here in Jeremy Bullington back with you again on collecting elevation via a tractor console. This time, instead of going and collecting it in a manual way, we're going to show how to actually document how to actually document those lines via a particular system within the tractor. So, Jeremy, if you would take it away and show the users on how we can uh, accomplish that. Okay. Again, we've got our 4600 command center built into the tractor. One thing to remember, if we are going to run documentation on this 4600 is we have to make sure we have our premium activation installed. So if you want to verify that activation, we simply hit menu, from menu, we go to system, from system we go to software. Go down to activations, and we see we have documentation lit uh, because it's lit up. So we know we have documentation on this particular display. Okay, so once we get there, we go to setup. Once we get to setup, we go to location. From location, we're simply gonna add a client. So up here at the top, we're gonna select number 11, for the farm, we're going to edit a farm, new farm, we're going to call it 11 as well, and we can call it anything we want to, and for field, we'll also call it 11. So now we've created a client farm field, we verify the information's there, we simply hit save, push OK. From here, the operation type, uh, what we're going to do is push new work, it's going to ask us that we want to do work for this particular location, we do tell it OK. And once we get there for our implement, we're going to add an implement and we're going to add a new profile. For implement, we're just going to give it a name of 11 as well. And it's going to ask us what is that operation. We're going to give it something, something as simple as um, tillage. Okay. So we go down to tillage. Working with can be anything we want it to be. Now, if you're running something like a planter or a drill, these things are going to populate as you go. You don't have to go through and manually set it up. But for our purposes today, we're going to go through and just tell it that we're running tillage. Once we get through here, we make sure that everything is set properly. And we simply hit save. So if you make an error and you don't get the profile complete, it's going to tell you what all it is that you have to have to correct. So we're going to simply go here, go work recording. We're going to make this based on manual. And our connection type, we'll just push draw bar. push save. It's still tells us that we need to know where the center of rotation is. So for our center of a rotation, we just simply touch dimensions and we're going to put in five feet. Is that just a default value? That is just a default okay. value. These values, because what we're doing today is we don't we don't actually have an implement on here, so we're just kind of making an implement up as we go. Yeah, we're Any, strictly strictly gathering elevation. Strictly gathering elevation. Okay. Like I said, if we're going to actually be running a planner or a tillage tool or something that actually plugs into the machine, these values are going to populate for us. You don't have to put in anything manual. Okay, so we're ready to go and ready to collect that elevation as we move. Yep. So we push save. It's going to update our track spacing for us, and we hit OK. Once we get here, it's going to ask us what our depth is. We have to give it a generic depth. We sure. do have to give it something. Push OK. So what's going to happen now is we turn our work on. We simply put the machine in forward. And as we ease off, we're going to see that we're now recording. We're going to set the machine to auto track. So we know that we're painting blue back behind us. And we've got coverage. The good thing to remember is if you've got coverage and our work light is lit up, we're recording elevation. Anywhere you drive in the field, we make an arbitrary turn in the field, we're going to record elevations there. Okay. So many times if you've got a poly pipe pine that meanders through the field and you want to just drive that poly pipe pad, you don't have to drive in a straight line. Anywhere that you drive, we're going to record elevation data anywhere that the machine drives. Okay, where does it show me that the data is actually being recorded? All right, so we, we yeah. know that the data is being recorded because we've got a red light here okay. and we've got blue blue paint here behind the Perfect. machine. Okay. So it actually doesn't show us live elevation okay. on the screen, but we do know that we're doing it because we've got a record light on and okay. we've got it turned off. So that's important to the end user, knowing that this particular light is on and that you've got the blue wave behind the track. That's correct. So let's say if we needed to cross lines, we wanted to stop recording, but we still needed to move. We simply touch, turn it off. You see the light goes away yep. and our paint goes away. Okay. So, so we, I picked up and I went over the road real quick and it. I got to another field. That's it. And then I go ahead and turn it back on. So I started collecting data again. So if you've got multiple poly pipelines in a single field and they're in different positions, this gives you the ability to record all of them at one time.